thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. Hello, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. Hello, Snow White. Hello, Snow White. God bless you. And I brought somebody to talk to you tonight. Wonderful. You did your best in the tonight. You changed your class around. Yes, it's much easier in gym. Oh, that's wonderful. And it should be easier at a skin school. Yes, you have your classes too. Yes, it's a little Hello, Tulip. God bless you, honey. I'm so proud to stand around the room. Oh, I'm so proud of you. What you've been doing? Yes, I've been happy to today. Yes, you have. Thank you. I'm so proud of you, and I love you. And we're going to talk again. Good. Are we going to talk again? Are we ever going to talk again? I'd love to all the time. Oh, I don't want to talk about Well, when, I understand when, when you're not in class and when we have our meditations. But I like to talk to Oh, yes. To speak to everyone. I would love that. In fact, I was... I thought you were back this and I brought the room. And in the kitchen, too. You were listening to me. <laughs> God bless you. Who was your audience? Me, myself, and I. You. God bless you. Don't you know Tula was your audience? I didn't know at the time, but God bless you. Someone was there. I felt the presence. It's a very good audience. Yes. He's in trance. He's looking forward to talking to you again, too. I like him. Yes. 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 Beautiful day today. A beautiful day, yes, but one of the other days. Yes. And it's a beautiful night. You know you're getting chemical right now. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. God bless you. Good to shoot. God bless you. Okay. Good to shoot. God bless you, Dr. Taylor. Good evening, my friend. Good evening, Dr. Taylor. Let us begin again. Let that great chemical magician of spirit be removed each Monday night from a series of minutes and two minutes with chemicalization and your desire to reach specific phases of mediumship. Yes, Thank you. I call upon the ether now and those important ones that you want to concentrate upon. But just a moment, my son. Yes. Are you aware the chemicalization is taking place now while we talk? Yes, Dr. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Called upon the ether now for Dr. Taylor, your desirous subjects of research. Transfigurations, Dr. Taylor? Transfiguration of physical phase of mediumship. Yes. Let us think upon this physical phase of mediumship just for a moment, son. Yes, sir. Is my voice coming through first? Beautiful. Wonderful. The physical phases of mediumship are always those who affect the objects in front of the mind. Those that you can physically see and hear, and those that you can decipher through the mental as well as the physical aspect. It is a cultured mediumship of development that takes place by patience, my son. Choose a comfortable chair of some nature and get behind it. When the time comes right, which will be soon in the transfiguration, 
you may invite people only at our approval. Of course. Of course. And to sit with you at this hour, at the last part of the seance, the first part of it, the first 15 minutes will be lessons, of course. And then we can adjourn, and it is transfiguration that you're sending for. I put the cabinet up for some time. I would suggest well, a week from tonight. Wonderful, Dr. Taylor. Thank you. Thank you. And just use a straight chair at first. I understand. The other one will not be ready then. I understand. That's wonderful. Because... When the other one is ready, it will be ready. Let us not push it. I understand. Because I want peace, my son. Yes. But over here, you can put the cabinet up on some rope or something. I understand. Sit behind it and put the rheostat up. Is the rheostat in the home? Yes, there's several of them, Dr. Jack. I want only one specific one, the one that is on the platform. Oh, Reverend Tingley knows it, where, where that one is at. Let us use that when you inform him that I want the rheostat next week. The last 15 minutes of the seance will be open uh, to himself and to any other persons that you'd like to, not exceeding three. Reverend Ann Hart? Be very much welcome. And it would be either Reverend Grace or Reverend Vernon Peabody? All right, Reverend Grace or Reverend Vernon Peabody? They know that I said we're keeping this very quiet for now because it's very important for many reasons. It is somebody you have to get along with. Yes. Any of them. I love them all. Both of them. You know, they, I trust them very much. Well, I would suggest Reverend and uh, Reverend Grace Whitmers, you see. Yes. Is that what you said? Yes. That would be wonderful, if it's with your permission, of course. Reverend Eaton is welcome, too. I don't want to let go. Well, it is all up to spirit. I can drink But my little girl, I only want three, including Reverend Dingley at first. Yes. Something else. I love this. I really do. Are you aware that a direct colonization is taking place now within you? Do you notice the change in the trumpet tone? Yes, Dr. K. Are you in the fourth and fifth plane? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm teaching you. You want to this? God bless you. Transfiguration is an objective phase of mediumship. Will you repeat this after me? Transfiguration is an objective of mediumship. That is comprehended through the mental. That is comprehended. And the through mental, the spiritual senses. And the spiritual senses. It is both passive and subjective in nature. It is both passive and subjective in nature. And can be seen with the naked eye. And can be seen with the naked eye. Under scrutiny. Under scrutiny. And under extended vision. Under, and under extended vision. Proper conditions. Proper conditions. Are those. Are those. Of a 40 watt bulb controlled by. Are those of a 40 watt bulb controlled by a. Uh, a rheostat. A rheostat. Tapering it down. Tapering. From the lowest end. Tapering it down from the lowest end. To that which is subject to visual observation. To that which is subject to visual observation. It will be placed on the floor. It will be placed on the floor. About in the center of the room. About in the center of the room. The sitters will also remain around the table. The sitters will also remain around the table. Better than that. Wouldn't that do that all right? I've been suggested by a lady here. Mother Riffle. I uh, to put to be a step in the middle of the table. In, in the middle of the table. All 
Did you know that, didn't you? Yes. I wasn't sure at first of what you were speaking of, but yes, the doctor of divinity is true. Who's Dr. Debris? Yes. I saw it on the plaque. That's how I knew her. I just snitched and looked. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. Yeah. I would love to be able to see you all someday. You will, what you think we're studying for. That's right. Are you all here to hear me chemicalized right now during this conversation? Yes, Dr. Taylor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yes, he has to. To remind us. Okay. Bye. Yes. Hello. Good to see you. God bless you, sister. sister. My child. Yes. I shall be of great service to you in the chemicalization for Christ's duration. Thank you, sister. Sister. Allowing your body and your galvanic expression to be molded, to shape and look like that spirit who is trying to to mold himself over your face. Wonderful. That is wonderful. Trance will come also by the same stage. Not at first, but slowly you will enter a stage of subconscious and then unconscious and then light trance. Wonderful. Isn't that wonderful? Truly wonderful. You have a wonderful medium in your presence who is asleep in trance now. Yes. Deep dead trance. Yes. So you will have all the help that you need. That is wonderful. God bless you. God bless you, Sister Cecilia. And would I also on that list for the occasions, I was wondering a way I would love to develop healing to help others and to heal others and with such beautiful guides as yourself. I will be very glad to give you a new tape on the Acacia Healings. Thank you. And I shall read him to now. This is a wonderful conversation tonight. Yes. It is in how long you're in the seance room. We're going to accomplish a great lot in the next six weeks if I say him. Isn't that wonderful? Truly wonderful. Well, you. How are you coming with your manual work? It's almost to the halfway point. We have many things that are, it's moving very quickly, Sister Cecilia. We have a, a new cross, and we're fixing that steeple up to inspire many. That's wonderful. It has inspired me, so mention it not, a great surprise will come to you. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Cecilia. Is he ever interested in it as much as he was? He's going in different moods. He needs a mental healing. A mental healing? Yes. A healing to calm him. He, sometimes uh, he was wanting to give up the tapes that he was recording of his service, and they're so beautiful. And he will never give them up nice Thank you. First he gets the little moments. And I will see to it. Thank you. Don't mention this to him and you. Let's trust in spirit. I'll see that he doesn't. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Professor, you, are you aware that a great Civilization is taking place within you, son. Yes, Dr. Taylor. Thank you. I call upon me if there are any other phases of mediumship that you would be interested in now, my son. With the ability to see auras, that is a phase of mediumship. Indeed it is. It's extended clairvoyance. Yes. I so desire that. And inner sight. Yes. We have registered to that for you. Thank you, Dr. Taylor. And what about public speaking? But of course, to inspire others. And not just in the church. I have this on the list of suggestions. Do you so accept that? Yes, but of course, I, I would love to inspire others. My dream, my goal, is not only the church, but to bring this religion around the world. That 
is right. I set high goals for that, but I I want to work so hard to achieve that while I'm in this physical plane. That is right, my son. To bring spirituality everywhere. People are opening up and announcing it everywhere. And I would love to be a pioneer in many new fields too. In medicine, if I could play any key parts as a medium to help mankind. Yes, my son. We would help you uh, control your therapeutic and your thyroidic conditions of retention high you. and low. Thank you. Thank you. What are the causes of them that you know of? Stress. That is an important thing. Stress. Trying to accomplish 10 or 12 things at once mentally Impossible, son. One step at a time, but always forward. And let's reduce it down to a minimum and do the minimum well. Yes. Is it that proper, my son? Yes, Dr. Chair. Yeah. But see, we will achieve more that way than we will a hundred serpents in a pool trying to give birth to a nation. Yes. Is that right? Yes, Dr. Taylor. That's so true. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. to speak with people and talk to people will will increase as we go along. Wonderful. Wonderful. This is uh, this is a silent more or less a Did, uh, Dr. Taylor, I have a question. Yes, my son. During all of this, have I lost a lot of my chemicalizations? No, you have not lost anything. Express over the ether anything you want to say. We can enter it or re-enter it in the Akashic. Some things we don't want to enter into the Akashic. Do you understand me? I understand. And by you expressing what you mean, we can withdraw it. Understand me? I understand. Uh, I only want to do good. And I realize that, son. And I, you wouldn't be here. And I ask God's forgiveness for the things that I have done and said. Uh, more or less, branch them out to me and I'll see whether they've been entered into the case you could not. And I can withdraw them right now. Things I have said to my dear friends here, Reverend Kinley and Hart. They will not be entered into the case I understand. Is there anything else, my son? That I put my classwork second to my work. I ask God's forgiveness because I only want to go higher, deeper in spirituality. That is right, my son. I am so. I ask for forgiveness. I don't see anything to forgive you in that respect. Thank you, Doctor. You're a clean man? Yes. You don't drink in alcohol? Yes. You don't participate in drugs? That's what, what's wrong. You don't engulf in... Uh, I understand. In uh, the other things, uh, the carnal things or whatever people do. I try to live a clean life. I don't see uh, anything to withdraw here. Let's go on and develop. Yes. Um, thank you. There are many questions, but I know in, in this class, classroom there, during this class, there's a limited amount of time. But I would love to understand the difference between spirit, the time in, in spirit planes versus the physical planes. I, uh, many things uh, have brought questions like Mother Riffle, for example, many, many sessions that she teaches and she gives seminars. And I know 
you know, there's a different time, a different dimension. Yes, my son. But I was wondering. You're speaking of a very noble woman. Yes, very noble, very wise. And what I was wondering was the difference in the times. Is there any way that someone in the physical plane, without actually going into, into the spirit plane just yet, could measure that time? Yes, there is some. We talk about that at a future seance. Isn't that wonderful? Very wonderful. Very wonderful. Very time averting. In his, in his chest area. I'm not sure if it's the heart or a combination of heart and lungs. And a lot of it is tension. Most of it is tension, my son. Yes. But he has mentioned that he's going to start doing projects. And I'm, and I'm so happy to see him getting inspired in that direction again. That's right. Because sitting still too much is not good. Is it? Well, it's not good for you. I don't think we're going to make idle hours. Yes. We will protect you. Thank you. Thank you. I would love to see you with that inspiration and that smile and goals, setting goals again. Again, Reverend Hart. We've tried. We, we try to go about it. wonderful. In all directions. Well, all I've got to say is God bless you. God bless you. We're watching over you. Thank you. And really, you know, you're not like a common everyday man as you come into class. There will be sacrifices to make, you know. You understand this? Yes. Please guide me. Please guide me. We will guide you. Thank you. God bless you. And thank you for coming this evening. Thank you, Doctor. It is truly my order thanks to you. Thank you for coming, Daddy. Thank you, Tula, for coming. You've got a wonderful chemical vision. You've got a wonderful hearing. That is wonderful. That is wonderful to hear you. You're going to have Yes. Our Not next week, but the week after next. Did you get that straight? Yes, but I could mention that to Reverend Tinley, can I? That's all right. To Reverend Tinley. But not a lot of people outside. Would Ann Hart, could I let Ann Hart know about that? Oh, yes, you can know that. Thank you. We're going to sit for that speculation. 
Thank you. That is wonderful. God bless you, Tula. I'm so proud of you. God bless you. God bless you. It's Moses. Moses. I was just going to come in and say, I was talking again. All right. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you, Master Moses. Uh, I'll be back. Wonderful. Good day. For now. God bless you, Master Moses. Yes, it is. Yes, because Dr. Dean said the class was over. I understand. I said, don't you tell me? My allotted time is gone. I've served you well. Thank you, Doctor. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you, Lord, for this divine, divine healing and teaching. Thank you, Lord, for this divine, divine healing and teaching. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Hello, Jim. Jim? Hello. Hello, this is John. John? Yeah, you're in the seance room. Jim? I know you. Yes, Jim, this is John. Oh, yeah. You're in the seance room. Yeah, yeah. You went under. I guess so. Yes, you did. For a little while. <laughs> I guess so. How are you feeling? I feel good. Very good. You awake? I'm getting up there, yeah. You know, just let me know when you want the lights on. It's all right now. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. I've got some good news for you. You received a wonderful healing. Oh, look. As soon as I find that door. Here, here. What? What was that? Hello. Hi, there. Hello. You hear that? Yeah. God bless you. God, I heard it. Hello. Welcome. You're always welcome. God bless you. It's okay to turn away. It is, you bet. Okay. Well, I've got some wonderful news for you. Do you know what that is? What's that? Well, you see the wonderful healing. How do you feel? But I'm always going to push it down. But guess what? I'll revive JJ because <laughs> I know you're just coming back. But not next Monday, but the following Monday. Well, I'm going to see Dr. Taylor request me, Dolby, to set up the curtains. And oh. we're going to, and they want me, I said, in two weeks, I am to have three people. You, yourself, Reverend Ann Hart, and one other. Yeah. And I'm going to sit. We're going to see if we can't get transfiguration. Oh, well, that's great. We love that. Well, that sounds hope. Sounds like light. Yes, the rheostat should be in the I have the instructions on tape. The rheostat should be in the center of the table. That's that was difficult. Wonderful. 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 